What in the name of Ulysses S. Grandish? Greetings, welcome back to me. I'm the King of Rocks Mecca. Welcome back to Back to the Future, the game. I th found out that I was supposed to mess with the barrels there because this is what's supposed to happen. Going down. Looks like your torch is getting a little dim there, Miss Pickford. I'm back. All right, physics. I need to grab that. <laughs> yeah. What was that noise? What noise? I didn't hear a noise. Say, that's a lovely chandelier you've got. Now, to finish the job... ...properly. One loose floorboard! Okay. If I had a... ...but I don't. Okay. Now, up the ladder again. I'm confused now. Spring the trap. How do I go about doing that? A hundred years from now, Hill Valley will erect a sewer. How? Got any last words? There we go. I'll see you in hell, Tannen. You first, lady. Come on, you son of a. <laughs> there we go. Who the hell are you? I'm the diversion, butthead. All right. Nice one, Doc. Don't tell Clara. She thinks Fisticuffs set a bad example for the boys. Now, where's Edna? Doc, she's gone. Uh-oh. Back to the DeLorean. Edna's DeLorean. I'm sorry, of course, you can take it. Okay, Edna, nothing to be worried about. You're a smart woman with a strong moral compass. You just need to think your way out of it. Oh, fudge! The flying DeLorean! Will do, 
the dock. Mr. Fusion. Mr. Fusion, should I disable it? Leave it alone. Not a good idea. I'm gonna keep the fuel clear reactor. Uh, flex a mirror. Is that one of the four you from here? Mr. Fusion. All right. Passenger door. It's locked. Some air. I know how to do this. Our side. It's one of the flux emitters. It's locked. Flux emitter. Oh, get off. All right, so that's not going to work. Front bumper. Front bumper. Sorry, Missy. Mirror's broken. So I guess I'm going this way. I better not touch it now that it's synced. I'm okay. I'm okay. Front bumper. Front bumper. Let's try using a blacksmith sign to close the Mr. Fusion. Let's try closing the Mr. Fusion! Then what do I do? Mr. Fusion. Windshield back. God damn it! Now 
There we go. Okay, can I get... I can't reach you from here. I tried that. Uh, rear bumper, please. One flux emitter, one flux over to the flux emitter. Well, oh, 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 come on. There okay. Bumper. Front bumper. Front bumper. Not sure what that. All right, rear bumper. Gonna have to go run the long way. Front bumper. Edna. Can't talk to her from here. Front bumper. Oh my god. Don't worry, I got it. No, I don't got it. Took this long for Edna to yell at you. She must really be distracted. Uh try talking to Edna. How do I do that? Pinsar, great detail. Incredible detail. It's and talk to Edna. Grab the hoverboard. There we go. Alright. Oh my god! Oh, oh. There we go! What? 
to reach me. The temporal creation of Edmund's glory is decaying. Wrong, great. English, Doc. We've got to get it. How's she never in the police station? And suddenly we're in the Arctic. enough to tell me what day it is. It's the day I place you under arrest for arson, resisting arrest, and being a general- No! You can't arrest me! Not now, I just got back from the last century. Would you look at that? Edna Strickland, drunk as a skunk. I'm not drunk, you reprobate. I'm a time traveler. Sure you are. <laughs> I'm loving this. I I'll bring it to you. Come, come with me. We can do the whole day over if you want. We can fix everything. We can start by drying you out. Come on. Into the station with you. You can bunk with me, doll. I'd rather die. Stop it! Unhand me, you dolt! <laughs> well, I guess that's it for Edna. Yes, I suppose it is. You know, whoever said time heals all wounds didn't know squat about time travel. What do we do about that, DeLorean? No need to do a thing. Ever since we synced up the time circuits, the temporal breakdown in Edna's DeLorean has accelerated at an exponential rate. By my calculations, the timeline should catch up with it in five, four, three, two, one, now! What the hell? Hey, Parker! You're not gonna believe this! See? what I say? Ready to go home? Wait, Doc! The timeline's not fixed yet. Look! Sonny! You missed all the fireworks at the expo. Yeah, so I heard. Listen, I heard a rumor about you two. I guess we gotta come clean. Ta-da! Party took me to Runa last night! We keep a secret, and it's true. My grandpa's married the wrong grandma. I'm done for. Hey, are you feeling all right, kid? You don't look so hot. I'm fine. You're, 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 you're too young. Artie, you can't do this. You're not supposed to get married for another five years. Well, I know Trixie and I were taking things slow. But after that witch Edna got me fired with that postcard, we kind of accelerated things a little. The postcard? Oh, man. It isn't right. This just isn't right. Now I know marrying a Canadian for a work permit is right on a limb for the ones you love. <sighs> Isn't he just the s- Can you see through me? Nope. Never could figure you out. I thought you'd be thrilled for us. You don't understand. I- You're supposed to marry Sylvia Miskin. But I did, did ya? Don't feel too bad. It was kind of a surprise to me too. Wait a minute, you're Grandma Sylvie? Grandma? Hey, how old do you think I am, kiddo? Oh, but you're so... so skinny and blonde and... Huh. Yeah, you know, it's I amazing. Think oh, oh my I god, I've idea. seen you naked. You're... Sylvia? Are you okay, pal? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about your dad, Artie. I'm sure he'll come around. Come around to what? Um, to approving your marriage. You seem kind of mad about it back at the high school. Well, that was before I got a look at her. Besides, as my dear old father Seamus used to say, no sense in getting riled up over something I can't do nothing about. And honestly, now that I met her, I can't imagine a better daughter-in-law than the charming Miss Sylvie here. Aw, thank you, Dad. As for you, Yay! Sylvia, I'll thank you to not go poking your nose in McFly family business.
It's been a pleasure, Agent Crockett. See you in the funny paper, Sonny. <laughs> Goodbye, Grandma. You know, I took some pictures of Trixie in 1931. Hey, that's my grandma you're talking about. Half of some post game shit. Fifteenth. Best bill in a little lag time. Gives you a chance to catch up. Looks like the estate sale is still going on. Hey, don't you want to stay, Doc? You gotta stop the bank from selling off all your old stuff. What are you talking about? Estate sale? Bank? I'm not dead, Marty. Claire and I are having a little garage sale, that's all. Garage sale? You mean... Marty, you're back from your trip. Hello, Doc. Selling off the family treasures, eh? <laughs> Not quite, but I hope you find something you like. Speaking of which, did you find what you were looking for? Yeah, I sure did. Great! Hey, is that a box of Asimov? Let me get this straight. Are you telling me you live here now? In 1986? Well, naturally. Claire and I maintain a part-time residence here. Wasn't that the case when you left? Nope. No. Strange. I can't nation to supervise. If I wasn't here, who'd present the annual Earhart Brown Scholarship for Young Scientists? <laughs> Something later. I'll see what's so funny about looking out for a family legacy. Oh, almost forgot. I've got something for you. That's a big driveway. Happy graduation. Graduation? But that's not for another. The McFlies of Hill Valley. An exhaustively detailed history of your family. From your great great grandfather Seamus to the present. You traveled through time to write this? Well, most of the research was done through this, but your grandma Sylvia proved to be something of a mystery. Which is why you traveled back to 1931 uh, to look for her. Exactly. Who knew she was singing in a speakeasy on her stage name? This is great, Doc. Thanks. Uh, it's the least I could do for the man who saved me from making the worst mistake of my life. You, Dr. Brown! Uh, Edna? Heine! What's going on? What are you doing on my door? The same thing I do every afternoon, silly man. Giving him such much needed exercise. Isn't that right, Einstein? Dollface, it's past time for our 3.30. Coming, sweetie! Oh, McFly, have you seen my stepson anywhere? Oh, Biff, I think you're late for an appointment. Great little fa- Uh... Don't say anything. Let's just walk quietly into the lab and hope there are no more surprises. Ha! I thought that would change. There are three versions of future Marty that are supposed to. One. Two. Doc! Marty! What are you doing here? Dad, come with me! Back to the future! Marty, you can't be here if you're young. Catastrophic! My younger self? Oh, right! Bring him along too! This concerns all of us! What do you mean? Does something happen to us? Do we turn into assholes or something? <laughs> We're fine. Our great great grandkids? What the hell? There's Wait. two! A blue DeLorean! But the second version of Marty can't drive for shit! Doc! That's Doc. Tron Marty! Back to Don't listen to him, Doc! It's me you gotta help! If you wanna save Jennifer and our 12 kids! What? That timeline was overridden five jumps back. Doc, Jennifer's how can there be two more of me here? I have no idea. Here comes number three. The space-time continuum should be tearing apart like a cheap dish rag right now. It already is. 
What my evil twin and I are trying to say is the future is totally jacked up. And, you and that was number three. So, you've altered my timeline once too often. What's going on, Doc? Well, we do seem to have a conundrum on our hands. Or three. Yeah, Doc, but which one is the real me? Isn't it obvious, Marty? Come on. Prepare to be erased. Doc, wait. What about the space-time continuum? What about my future and mine? The future can wait. We've got a present to catch up with. How confusing. Yay! And we fixed that now. <laughs> and Kid Tannen. <laughs> Definitely fix them. I love this song, but it probably can't be heard on YouTube anyway, so. Oh, I forgot. I'm <laughs> charging my headphones. I'm charging my headset here. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining this experience. This game is fun. That is the end of Back to the Future, the game. I absolutely confused. Absolutely. I can never get enough of it. The idea of traveling through time with a simple car, no less. A car that was heavily modified, I might add, in both the present and the future. But, yeah, this game is fun. But anyway. Thank you all so much for joining me in this experience, this very special experience. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button to raise hell. As before, I am the Game Devil Rex Mecha, and I'll see you in the underworld. So long. Back in time. Bye.